and when they appear for interview when they are questioned based on the resume they don't have answers and it is then that they confide hi i'm rajesh and welcome to another edition of logging with rajesh g how are you guys doing today i hope all of you are doing great and i hope it continues that way you know resume is the most important document during your interview process or even for your candidature to be shortlisted because it's a gap between the candidate and the employer and a well written resume is all it takes for you to land into a job provided you clear the interview process so let me give you certain tips which will help you when you're drafting your resume or when you're applying for your next job first is bullet point so you know a recruiter may have lots of resumes to go through so if you are writing stories in paragraphs recruiter will not have the time to go through them so what you should do you should put your jobs and responsibilities in bullet points so that you know recruiter can easily go through it and when you have put everything in bullet point please don't write one or two lines see the main objective of bullet points is to reduce the number of lines i have couple of times i have seen even with bullet points people will go ahead, go ahead and write two or three lines no with bullet points make it a point to finish your statement in one single sentence that's it you are done because that is all that the recruiter will be looking forward to rest you can explain second is a two page resume i have seen certain resumes which goes into five to six pages let me tell you nobody has the time to go through that what you need to do you need to go for a two page resume now you'll be asking me how can you crisp all your job profile and experiences in two pages you know for each employer just focus on the main highlights your major skill set in that organization rest you can explain it to them during the interview course during the interview process because every interview would like to know something which is not written in the resume from the candidates third is highlight your achievements couple of times i have seen that people don't highlight their achievements i don't know why see uh, it could be as simple as you know winning an employee of the month award maybe once in your four or five years tenure but that makes a difference but some people are of the opinion that this thing once in four years so should i mention about it yes you should because there will be people who wouldn't have won anything In all of their academic career so if you mention it this is your chance to you know outbeat them and outshine them and your chance of being shortlisted at least for the interview process fourth is avoid grammatical and spelling errors so once you feel you have drafted your resume please go through it so that there are no grammatical errors and no spelling mistakes couple of time what i have seen is that you know people just prepare their resume in hurry bari and when somebody is reading it there will be a lot of grammatical errors spelling mistakes which really irritates them and despite you having the best skill set they may reject your profile so the entire process of explaining these things is i don't want your resume to be rejected i want it to be shortlisted or at least grab the attention of the recruiter so that they can spend some time and you know today in today's scenario we have lot of uh, apps like grammarly is one of the app which you can download on your laptop and once you have written your resume let grammarly go through it it will tell you the places where you have committed a grammatical error as well as the spelling mistakes and one most important thing to all the freshers which i have usually seen in freshers cases you know what they will copy somebody's resume the only thing which they change is the name email id mobile number and the basic details the rest it is as it is with the strength the weakness and everything and when they appear for interview when they are questioned based on the resume they don't have answers and it is then that they confide that you know i have copied this resume from so and so 
So just in case you have decided to copy somebody's resume, please go through it and please don't buy, blindly copy somebody's resume and attend the interview. You will be rejected immediately. So I hope uh, this video was informative for you. If that's the case, like the video, share the video, post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until my next video, bye-bye, take care and spread the power of positivity around you.